It's Fin Tunnel 2022 New Year. Round of applause. We made it. I'm here. It's Brandon, your host ish. And I got my colleagues, all the other people on the show. Everybody say what's up. Hi, Chris. What's up? I'm Adrian. Fuckers. What's good, everybody? Good. We're all here. We're back. We're live. We are here. They're live at midnight on the East Coast, but that's okay, because y'all got nothing else to do on a Friday. We're serving up a fresh plate of predictions here tonight. Oh, that was good, Adrian. You should. You should Real yeah. good. You should. Fuck you, Adrian. I oh, hate you. All right. <laughs> Man, Beatles hostile tonight. Um. So anyway, yeah, like Adrian said, we got some fancy dancy predictions for you. But before we get started there, I think we should just run through uh, what's going on. So uh, we're back. You may have missed us. You probably didn't, because none of y'all know us. But that's okay. That's okay. Um. We're uh, we're here to talk about NASCAR again this year. And last season, we did about three episodes all in the end of the season, and we had fun with it. So we're coming back. I know the season doesn't. We don't even have cars on track till the clash in three weeks, but we figured, what the hell? We got bored and wanted to get going early, and uh, we got a lot of predictions for you. We're going to predict every single race winner of the 2022 season three weeks before we even have a race, four weeks before they even matter. So... Anyway, without further ado, uh, we're going to flip this over to our fancy new spreadsheet board. Pulling it up on the screen. Everybody clap. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. We got a spreadsheet board, and it's got names and tracks and stuff. Um, Got races 1 through 36 plus the all-star race. Don't forget the all-star and the the clash. clash. That is right. So – on the board here, we don't have a name for it yet. I don't really think we need to name it because it's very self-explanatory. But this is our winner board where we will be predicting every single winner of the year way earlier than we should. But that's okay because it's all in good fun. And on the other end of the spectrum there, on the far right side, there's the actual winner column. And we're going to come back to this throughout the season and fill it out with who wins the race on every episode. And we'll see if we get any of them right because I think that sounds fun. Um, so anyway, what do you, anybody else have anything to say about this board? I don't think so. He said we were ready to go. You're ready so to go? We're going straight into it. We're just diving straight in, man. No, no, time to, no time to beat around the bush. We're just getting after it. All right. Well, I like that plan. So uh, let's just go get into it, I guess. So uh, are we going to talk in order from like left to right? or like? I, I mean, we can just freestyle it. Let's just let it happen. Yeah. We'll yeah. let it flow. We'll do the we'll first one. We'll, we'll I mean, Adrian, this was Adrian's big grand idea. So we're going to let him lead the show to start uh, off here. So go ahead, man. The Clash. Los Angeles Coliseum, by the way. Uh, we should have this live, I think. We're going to try to have that one live for you all. Not live like showing it because, you know, we're not trying to get uh, – beaten at the hand of god but you know <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna talk about it what's well, happening watch and you can watch with us <laughs> so uh-huh. yay and we'll give our we'll give our thoughts on the uh the uh college football olympic stadium nascar race that's gonna happen in three weeks NASCAR time NASCAR so, broadcasts are available with fox news subscriptions at on fs1 the way yep. don't sue us fox please. yeah please don't. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Hands off this one, guys. We're just here to commentate and have a fun time. So, Adrian, go ahead, man. Start us off strong. You have the floor. With the clash, this one was pretty easy for me to make. I think I'm going to go with Martin Trix Jr. Oh, why is that? Why Martin, Martin Trix Jr., Jr.? The short track god in these last few years. They call it Martinsville for a reason. I don't think uh, that's Coliseum. the reason. This is not Martinsville. <laughs> the Coliseum is like a mini Martinsville. And I think Martin Truex Jr. is going to win the all uh, the clash pretty easily. All right. It's funny that you say that. And I got your explanation. Because I literally put down the exact same guy. For the exact uh-huh. same reasons. Martin <laughs> Truex Jr. looks like the obvious candidate for this race. Just, you know, because it's exactly what you said. I mean, we got a little baby Martinsville. They got a new car. He's got a lot of experience. He's one of the older drivers in the series. And, yeah, I'm with you on that one. Short track. It's going to Truex. And, and, uh, just to preface this to anybody watching, we don't know what each other picked 
heading yeah. into this. Yeah, yeah, we have no know idea what we what we, we each other so we're we're doing this on the fly. Me and Vito literally put our list together about five minutes before we started streaming. So yeah. Adrian and Chris, <laughs> they put a lot of thought into this. So if you're trying to make your own picks and are looking for some reference material, go off at them because me and Vito, we're just we're swinging for the fences here. We're just going on a whip. I opened race reference a total of one time in my life. <laughs> for one driver. Check All for right. one race. Let's see what's up, right. Chris. What you got? You got somebody else? You got the same? No. I got the same guy. I think Oh I'm my god. <laughs> oh man. Are we oh, going across the board? Man. Vito. Uh, I don't think we need crazy. to explain Martin Truex Jr. the third time. Did you it's pick crazy. Truex too? I think I picked Martin Truex Jr. Oh my Did you really? <laughs> Uh, this is boring content. Jr. This is so however, boring. However, the not only is he one of the best short track racers, uh, I think he's gonna win it, and I, I you know, I, I think he's gonna be a, a dominant star this season. I'll, okay, I'll before we my keep going though, with, if we're gonna predict things, do you think the Coliseum race is gonna be like a good race? Do you think it's just gonna be shit a mess, show. a total fucking shit, like a mess? In, in okay, game. but it can go two ways. I think it's going to be a mess, but it can go as a mess in two directions. It's gonna be a mess because it's just like it's just gonna be a madhouse of people running into each other, and there's a bunch of just just contact everywhere because the track's so tight. And so tiny, and we're gonna have road blocking cautions for like two cars spinning. Or is it gonna be a mess because it's so tight and slow that there's not gonna be any racing? Like, what do you like? I think it's gonna go one of those two ways, and I don't really know which. I think it'll go to first. I think it'll be a lot like Bowman Gray, where it's just a bunch of people just a bunch of into each other, demo derby of in a confined a circle. The only difference is if you get mad at somebody, you can't drive across the track just to start beef with. <laughs> that yeah. is true. The infield is blocked with a time. wall. But I guess you could go inside the infield walls. It's a little demo derby pit down there. Yeah, right? All right. So uh, anyway, that's the clash. But the clash doesn't matter. I want to go the other Here's direction the now. I think Vito should start this one. All right. So to start with the Daytona 500. Daytona 500, the big one. This is it. Who's winning the 500 right. this year? Great. Right here. I'm going to type this out before I say it, okay? Okay. All right, go ahead. The big reveal. Uh, okay, I'm on the wrong. Hold on, give me one second. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Yeah. That. Dropping the ball. Okay. Your shit together. I think Kevin Harvick will win the 500. Kevin wow. Harvick will win the 500. Kevin Harvick? I'm expecting my shot. that one from you. Hey, Ruth, I'm thinking Kevin Harvick's going to win the 500. Okay, uh, I made you go first for a reason. Because. Like I said, insane speed last year. I think with. I think he's going to win 500. I think it's – I'm calling this easy. All right. Wow, okay. All right, cool. Something different. <laughs> I like so, the Kevin uh, Harvick pick. Now, yeah, the reason we made you go first, there was an obvious yeah. reason for this because yeah. <laughs> we've Me. talked about this one a million times before. So it's just – let's just get it out of the way now. We all – I mean, the fan favorite in the spin tunnel uh, – the spin tunnel studio here for the 500. We can just let Adrian, you can just, y'all can just put him down. It's Brad Kislowski. It's Brad Kislowski. Brad Kislowski's yeah. gonna win. Yeah, He's Brad. due. He needs one. Somebody drop it in mine. I'll feel like typing it. <laughs> <laughs> just drag it over. There we go. Okay, so now we're cascading. We went from a four pick. Now we got three out of the four. I hope we get two next. Honestly, I really, I really yeah. do have a feeling we're going to have two next because I feel like me and Chris could pick the same thing coming up next. But let's what? focus on Brad Kislowski. Brad. Yeah, what, what do you think? Chris, you seem to be the horror. Like, you've been watching this the most. What do you yeah. think? Uh, I've been watching a lot of the tests. I've been watching just about everything in the all season about Roush. Brad's bringing a lot to that and in just about every test, he's been top of the charts. He's been really fast. He's a Ford, and, you know, the Fords are insanely good at Daytona and Talladega. Those cars are always going to run the track the best. Harvick's a Ford. Yeah, Harvick is a Ford, too. But um, here's the thing. Brad Kozlowski, the most winning driver on a plate track, this in the uh, most winning active driver in plate tracks. He has seven plate wins right now. Only one of which was at Daytona. He's been close a couple times, including second at the 500. He was leading the 500 on the final lap coming into yeah, three, did, and then uh, the white flag on that race. Yeah, and then uh, fireball. Yeah, and um, Michael but, McDowell took that yeah. win. Don't think oh. it's going to happen again. I do expect, honestly, both of the front car, front row cars. I think D Todd Gillen can be competitive at Daytona as well. Yeah, but um, Brad well. 
great plate racer in a Ford. New team bringing a lot of energy to it. I think he's got it. I'm with you uh, on all fronts. I, you know, yeah, he's just he's due. I know yeah. he's one of he's he's an insanely successful plate racer, but he's only won once at Daytona. But that's not that's besides the point. This is the race. This is his race. You know, like he's gonna win it. Yeah, yeah this is the I, year. I feel like all the momentum is is in his camp right now. So it's right. gonna be good. What's next? Auto, Auto Club. Right? Who wants Auto to take Club. the floor this time? Yeah. I think Adrian starts. Adrian yeah, starts like, again. All right, Adrian. All right. Fire away. Going into Auto Club. He's been great here in years past. Coming back, I think he'll be great here again. Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch. Auto Busch. Club. All right. He's uh he's kind of gotten off to some slow starts these last two years. I think that has a lot to do with there being no practice and qualifying. Now that that's back, I think Kyle Busch is going to get right into it a lot more quickly, and he's going to all right, I like that pick. I like that pick. I have a different one. I'll I'll go next. Okay. And not to be yeah. basic, but I'll take the honors of being the first one to do it. I'm taking Kyle Larson to win at Auto Club. There we go. And he's, you pick. know, his before his Hendrick tirade of last year, his biggest success all came on the two mile tracks. And yeah. I mean, his rookie season here, he raced Kyle Busch for the win. Like he was. He's destined to do well at this track. This could be the very last time we get to run on the two-miler. It's his home state race. Kyle Larson's going to win an auto club. All right, I'll make my pick next. And I would have to say, I agree with Adrian. I think Kyle Busch wins at <laughs> auto club. He's, been, he's had a lot of speed there in the last couple of years. I think he'll just get right back into it. You know, it's, They haven't raced there in a while, but I think Kyle might have been the last guy to win there. From what I remember. No, it was Bowman. Bowman, Bowman right, right before yeah. COVID. Yeah. Bowman, Bowman right before yeah. COVID. Yeah, 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 that's right. We didn't race, we didn't race there last year, so we didn't yeah. get to see Kyle Larson win. That's what I'm saying. Kyle Larson's going to win, dude. I'm telling you. I'm calling it. Yeah. Vita, what do you guys think? It's a good pick. All right. but I think it's Kyle Bush. So that's something a little bit out there right now. Did you pick another Kyle? Did you pick Kyle Weatherman? No. Did not pick a Kyle. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think. Fuck Ooh. me. Yo, what happened to the sheep? Oh, oh. oh. Technical difficult. All right. Yeah. I think Austin Dillon. Austin, Di Dillon. Austin Dillon. <laughs> Here, hold on. Just, just wow. Austin Dillon. Just yeah. make that say Austin Dillon. Uh, fix that. Uh, whoever, I don't care. Yeah, don't I think Austin Dillon is going to win at Auto Club. All right. Because he is such an aggressive driver. He's, got, he's clearly got a lot of talent. I think he's got a good chance at Auto Club. Yeah, I mean, Dillon's kind of lagged behind, but that might just be because of the children's car. I don't know. Yeah, no, I think I mean, with the only, cars. I'm trying. I gauged Auto Club off of this, like the past at Auto Club, but also more importantly, the only gauge we have well, going off last year, just driver wise. Got to remember, we're on a brand new car, so I mean, you can pick whatever the hell yeah. you want. We don't know. You could pick Corey LaJoy. You never know. But like, yeah, he's a very aggressive um, driver. The new car is going to help him out. He was running towards the front and ish all year last year, so he's definitely had momentum to you know on your Austin Dillon pick here. But like, granted, he almost flipped over. But he was running pretty good at Michigan, if I remember. And that's all we got well, for Tyler. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. If the cars really do tighten up like NASCAR says they will, that's I don't think a, it's wrong pick. to pick some of these more like running around 14th in points guys. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They could just hit one day and they could win. I, I hope Here's to see that next year. Yeah, I like that. All right. Making some out there picks because it's a new car. Okay. Maybe because of the new car. Somebody's uh, got to have fun. You can't be too conservative with it. Yeah, exactly. You got to have fun. Okay. I can go. All right. So Vegas That now, being right? said, let's go to Vegas. Vegas. First right. mile and a half. Who you got? Do you want to start us off? Who do you want to start? I'll go for that. Chris is going to go right. first. Let's go, Chris. All right. This guy's got a damn good track record. He's been, he's been fantastic every time we've been to this track. I think that Joey Logano – that long there we go. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. Joey Logano is always really fast there. Penn's oil race, too, so he's going to have some extra sponsors in there. Running, uh, he's going to have some extra sponsor money for that race. Let's go I weird order. A good run for that. I'll take next. All so, right. I was going to pick Joey Logano, and I had it written down. But something told me, that eh, change it. And I did change it. And I, similar to Logano, picked Ryan Blaney. 
as my pick right. for that race. Uh, just going off of the early uh, spring race at Atlanta last year, I feel like we could see something similar. Uh, you know, mile and a half race. And Ryan Blaney is finding a stride the last year or so now. He's winning. He finally won. He won. He had a season last year where he won more than one race. He looked good on the mile and a half. And, you know, he was able to close out a race. I think that's only going to keep getting better now. He's starting to finally come into fruition, you know, in the Cup Series, especially at Penske. Especially now that he's taking, like, he kind of, in a way, moved up a spot because, like, as a in the hierarchy, because it's like you had Kozlowski and you had Logano and then you had Blaney. You know what I mean? And he was like the yeah. new guy. But now Blaney's been around a couple of years. Kozlowski's gone. Logano is now the eldest at Penske. Now followed by Blaney, who's been there a couple of years, won races for them. And now there's Cindric coming in to take the spot of the, you know, the new guy. So I think and then that's showing now Blaney's like, you know, he's, he's getting more comfortable, it looks, because he's able to put together top five days and not fall back in the end and have something go wrong, which is something that happened to him. More than I think, more times than I can count the last, you know, the yeah. first couple years of his years at Penske. Last year, though, we saw him closing out races. We saw him go back to back with wins. He run three on the year. He did really good playoff run. I don't know. Ryan Blaney looks good for Vegas for me. Yeah, I like that pick. So who's Let's next? Let's Vito go next. Vito. Okay. All right. So I think Al Larson is going to win at Vegas. Al Larson. Okay, that's good. He's just one of our, you know, he's an all-around good driver. He's just a very talented driver, you know? I believe that's where he broke through and won his first last season as well. Yeah, he did. In the five car. He won Vegas in the beginning of the year, yeah. All right, Adrian, fire away. Yeah, I, just think I mean, you yeah. know, not to cut you off, I don't think Kyle Larson needs any explanation. I think we talked about Kyle Larson enough no, last Kyle season. Larson. It's just we all you have to do is say lot. Kyle Larson wins and we just move on. <laughs> There's no more explanation needed. Yeah. All right. That being Kyle said, Larson. Kyle Larson wins. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, there we yeah, go. Straight across it's the board. A, it's a 1.5 mile, but I do kind of want to elaborate. They almost seem to get bored on the 1.5 miles late last season. You know, they were winning so much on yeah. them that they just kind of I mean, yeah, very like, excited Sebaki, when they won With them. the exception of Hamlin, his teammate Bowman, and then Bubba, those three races out of the 10 race playoffs were the only ones that he didn't win. Yep. So, yeah, I mean – Right? Is that wrong? Didn't he win all of those? He didn't win like seven in a row, but sure, he, he won, won all five. Of yeah, he, he won five. Won. He didn't win. He he missed he some of the Kansas, other ones. He won at Texas. He won at Vegas. He won who three who missed no, he the other ones? He won it. He won a bunch of the playoffs. He won a yeah. bunch of the playoffs though. Who won the other playoff races? It doesn't matter. He anyway. won five of the playoff races. We're Hamlet talking won. about the future, not the past. Oh, anyway. oh. the future. Oh. Let's go to Phoenix. Phoenix. All right, Phoenix. I'll start this one. You want to start this one? Okay, go ahead. He went winless last season. I think you know who I'm talking about. Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick finally oh. breaks back through and wins at Phoenix. Gonna win at Phoenix. Obviously, very controversial driver. You know, I'm I'm pretty yeah. sure he's gonna piss off all the Hendrick fanboys, but uh, me being one of them. But uh, yeah, Kevin Harvick. He's been great at Phoenix in years past. I think he's still going to be great at Phoenix. Kevin Harvick's going to get his first win of the season, first win in over a year at Phoenix. Who wants next? I'll take next. Who did I put? I don't remember. Uh, oh, I know who I put. Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott. Okay. Ooh. I don't know. It seems like last year he had, he, I mean, he had his he had his slump after winning the title. He also had to deal with Kyle Larson. If Kyle Larson wasn't there, he probably would have won a lot of races, considering he finished second a million times every single time to Kyle Larson. But I don't know. I I, I got a feeling uh, it just seemed like the right pick for me. It was just Chase Silly is going to win. He's going to he's going to win on the oval again. He had won on the oval in over a year. But I don't know. Phoenix seemed like the place that it would happen at. It was the last oval he won too. So. All right, I'm gonna make my pick here. I'm a, I'm I'm agreeing with Adrian. Kevin Harvick. Kevin Hart. Yeah, I mean, to elaborate more, success in years past is a bit of an Harvick has nine wins there. Like, and they've called him the king of the desert multiple times. Kevin Harvick is insanely good at Phoenix. I think he's got this race. I like it. I like Chris it. First, four of our first five races are the same for me and Chris. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah. All right, Dito. All right. Fire away. So, got to say it. It's uh, the Jersey Devil, Martin Truex Jr. There we go. That's right. a good one. That's a real good pick. He's done so well at Phoenix in the past. He's, I think he's one of the best drivers at Phoenix on the roster currently. I just, I think he's got it. Yeah. 
All right. He won the he won the spring race there last year too. Yeah. You're ready for this one. I was ready for this one. This one's gonna be good. This one's gonna be fun. Atlanta, Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. No, and you're oh, like, boy. you know, for those of you out of the loop, you're like, oh, Atlanta. It's whatever. It's oh, it's just a one point five. It's not. It's, it's, it's not it's, anymore. It's scary. <laughs> this one is gonna. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> they made it wide and by wide i mean tall <laughs> it is tall this track has so much banking now and it is brand new asphalt and they are running the super speedway package because they built baby daytona with a quad oval now if that doesn't make you shit yourself i don't know what will somebody's probably gonna die but it's gonna be entertaining tv so who wants to go first? I want to go first. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna hype this race up, and we're gonna have so much fun watching it. And then when the checkered flag flies, we're all gonna be like, uh, because Joey Logano's gonna win because it just there seems like go. that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> we're gonna have so much fun, and then Logano's gonna drive like a psychopath, and everybody else is gonna be too terrified to pass him, and he's gonna win. Just like he does the plate tracks when he wins, you know, he's just gonna he's gonna do do the do Logano, not crash, or he's gonna he's gonna win or die trying. Essentially, I think he's gonna win this time. Um. Anyway, yeah, that's that's my pick. We're gonna get super hype just on the basis we're gonna get super hype, and then we're gonna get a win. That's everybody goes, uh, you know, when they wanted like Corey LaJoy to win, but he didn't. You know, it's one of those you get excited. It's like you know, it's just the good old Talladega. Caution on the last lap cock block. You know, it's going to be one of those days. But it's going to be a good time. So, uh, anyway, who wants to go next? Go I'll go on. next. Oh, yep. Yeah, 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 Vito's going next. Let's get crazy. We're going out of order. Originally here, right, for Atlanta, on my other spreadsheet that I have open, I have Denny Hamlin down as the winner. However, I'm making an on-the-fly change right here. Harrison Burton. Harrison Burton. Harrison Burton. Ooh, wow. Fucking no. I couldn't That's tell a, you. That is a... Harrison Burton <laughs> is winning Atlanta number one. In his oh, what? Right. In his what? One, two, three, four. Fifth cup start. Harrison Burton's going to no, win Atlanta. Atlanta. Last year. That was about it. Harrison Burton is winning at Atlanta number one. I don't know what the fuck. I'm Babe Ruth. I'm calling the fucking shot. This is the <laughs> World Series. Burton, so the Wood yeah, Brothers yeah. are going to bring in Harrison Burton, and in his fifth race for, as for driving for the Wood Brothers, in his first full-time cup season, he's going to win their 100th race. Is that what you're calling? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I'd right. love to see it happen. I would love it. I would love to see it happen. Who wants to go next? I'll go next. Uh, you know, I think the type of winner on these Atlanta tracks is going to be somebody, you know, it's basically a 1.5 mix with a plate track. And I think your winners on this track are going to typically be drivers that shine in both. And one of those drivers is Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin. Obviously. I think he's going to get his first win of the season at Atlanta. First of a – I think I have a few, him winning a few times. But, yeah, he's going to start it out at Atlanta. All right, Chris. Bring us in. Pick. So I know Brandon is talking about, you know, it's going to be a fun race. And it's going to be like a boring driver that wins. I agree, except I don't think it's going to be a boring driver that wins. I think we're going to get a really fun driver win in this race. I think in his first Toyota win, Kurt Busch wins Kurt it. Kurt Busch wow. wins at Atlanta again. I think Kurt Busch wins at Atlanta. But they why? Hamlin, man. You've been watching that testing footage. They've been drafting a lot with each other. That is true. That is and true. Denny's up front a lot at these plate tracks. So I think him and Denny, I think uh, Kurt and Denny are going to be right there with each other. I think Kurt's going to win. So on that basis, can I follow you up with a question for the group? Yeah, sure. And it's the same question I asked about the Coliseum. This is another – it's not a new track, like, location-wise, but this is a new track, okay? This is a totally different animal compared to anything we've ever seen before. Right. Do you think we get a mile-and-a-half Daytona Talladega type race, or do you think we get a – measly slow like we're watching them choo choo around together in a pack but nobody can actually do anything because that's what i, I worry think is we're gonna, gonna happen. see a race in where there's like these weird kind of clumps of like seven or eight cars racing together yeah i sort think of. so sort of like meme cup after a green flag pit stops <laughs> yeah basically right yeah like older plate race really we're just yeah they're drafting with each other and they're in packs Spread out. They're spread out. They're not in one big clump. 
I think you will see the best guys off in that front pack. I agree with that, but now that I'm thinking about the subject on the spot, I feel like we're going to see something eerily similar to the 2018 All-Star Race, if y'all recall. Remember when they put the old, like, double ear, big tall, like, double, like, double sight, like the two ear spoiler, the big old Xfinity right. spoiler on the cup yeah, cars, one. and they drilled the holes in the fucking, in the hood, and they made them like 500 horsepower, and they were just like, go, and they had a pack yeah. race, and then that sold everybody on wanting to go to the 550 horsepower package, because they thought it was so exciting. Do you think, I, yeah. I feel like that's what we're going to see. It's mm. going to be like that, where it's a big pack, and you can kind of get runs, but there's not enough space to like, Keep momentum up like it would be in like a Talladega where you can just leave her pinned and send her on the outside. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Because, I mean, I, you got to remember this track. This I mean, there's a, there, there's a lot of turning going on here. This is a tiny track. It's only so yeah. wide and there's a quad oval on the front straightaway. Just going off the test footage and all that and what the driver said about the track, they went about one second faster when they were drafting each other. And... I think it was Ross Chastain who said it Maybe feels we'll exactly like Maybe we'll see tandem drafting. Yeah, I think it was Ross Chastain who said it feels exactly like Daytona, but you turn a little bit more. Think about think about it that way. Maybe because there's more turning and more input, we'll see a little more parity between cars. But because of the draft help, if you can lock on with like one car instead of trying to lead a pack, we could see a tandem return. I don't even know. I, we could. I, we really. I mean, honestly, anything's on the table here. It's a new car and a new hey. crazy track. I everything's up there. We could see tandem hey, no drafting. Way. That tandem plays right into what I was saying. Kurt Busch, Denny Hamlin. Yeah, I mean, they were on top of it, literally, quite literally, on top of each other's cars like that whole last day at Daytona. So yeah. I don't know. This is interesting. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Moving on, back to Coda. God help us all if it rains again. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> Can we get an All actual right. Coda race? Who's going to win? Roulette wheel says, wanna... Adrian, go first. Fuck you, Vito. I'm cutting you off. Adrian, go first. Right. He finished second last year. He probably would have finished first if it didn't get cold due to rain. I think Chase Elliott was going to run out of few. Kyle Larson gets his second win of 2022 at Coda. Okay. I'm with you there. I also picked Kyle Larson. I don't need to go on a spiel about that. It's Kyle freaking Larson. We're going to move on. Chris, what you got? I'm in the opposite I'm in the opposite side of the spectrum. I think Chase Elliott wins this one. Nice. All right. All right. Good pick. Good pick. Vito? Great road racer. Vito, are, Vito, are you, can you just tell me now, are you going to surprise me and pick somebody not named Chase Elliott or Kyle Larson? Yeah, put it in. It's not how you spell that. <laughs> Go. Chase Elliott. Oh, Chase okay. Elliott, all right. All right, yeah. It's a road course. <laughs> Chase Elliott and or Kyle Larson. Hey, dog. Capitalize the E. That's going to piss me off. Let me Capitalize the E. And add two Ps. I hate it's not him Chase so Elio. Not. It dies. Elio. spaghetti Fucking Richmond won. Don't care. I there don't care. Who wants to go right, first? Yeah, Spin the roulette wheel. Come on. Let's Spin the roulette wheel. I made that shit up. No, I can uh, take it. Uh, yeah, go for it. Go ahead, Chris. Let's go, Chris. He's from Virginia. He's always been good at this track. Denny Hamlin wins Richmond. All right. He's always been up front. He's a great short track racer. He's won Richmond a lot before, I'm pretty sure. it's. I think this is his race. Okay. I'll follow you up. I like your Hamlin points. I really do. I agree with them. I was going to pick Hamlin. I did not. I changed it after I wrote it down for his counterpart at Joe Gibbs Racing, Kyle Busch. All right. Dominant at Richmond in the past. Kyle Busch, I mean, he hasn't been the same the last couple of years, but things are going to start coming around. It's going to be back to normal weekend procedure. Kyle Busch, I know he's been flopping around with different crew chiefs, trying to find his way again, get everything back squared away. I think he's going to go to Richmond, the track that he's always been good at. Everything's going to hit just right, and he's going to get back to victory lane. Richmond won. First one of the season for Kyle Busch. Adrian's already typing. He's going what can I say? Kyle it's Kyle Busch. Uh, I think he was going to win the race last year, honestly, in the playoffs if it wasn't for that speeding penalty, I believe it was. Or no, did no, he? No, 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 no. no. Sure. Nobody was touching Truex that day. Mm, I, I no, think Kyle Busch Well, I don't know. Kyle was up there. You're right. Kyle, no, Kyle was beating until that pit stop, and then he got called in the uh, – then he got called the penalty, and that's what Truex up front. Yeah, yeah, and once, but once Truex got out front, it was just like he hit the, he flipped the switch and just 
lift. Yeah, that was it once he got out front. But Kyle Busch, I think, was going to win that race. The spring race Kyle was Bush the won. funny Bowman one. That was funny. Bowman's first of, like, three. How the hell that happened wins? Yeah. <laughs> He won four. I think one of them was legit. The other ones were like, oh, that was funny. Last second, yeah, swoop in, cool. steal a win. Yes. Um, Vito, what you got? Oh, you know what? He's real solid at this track. He's real good at this track. Martin Truex Jr. There we All go. Right. All right, so we're picking across the board from the Toyota, the, Toyota, the Toyota camp. I mean, honestly, though, looking back on you know, except for Bowman's win there, Gibbs last Dominic. year, right. Gibbs has just owned this racetrack for the last five years. Six years, seven years, it feels eight years. I don't even know at this point. It's just been Toyota's winning. Kyle Busch swept it. Then Truex just took up the mantle and started winning it. Kyle Busch won some more. Hamlin got one in there. Hamlin was leading and winning up until Bowman shot out of a cannon and stole it from him in the end last year in the spring race. Yeah. I mean, I'm Joe Gibbs to see, owns this racetrack. I am interested to see how Kurt Busch and Bubba Wallace do. Obviously, they're not Joe Gibbs cars, but they are Toyotas. And obviously they're in kind of like a satellite team to Joe Gibbs Racing, so I'm interested to see how they do it. I think, yeah, uh, I agree, Richmond. especially with the Kurt Busch coming in with the knowledge and ability Kurt Busch has to elevate a race team. We've seen it time and time and time and time again over the tenure of his career. So, you know, like, you know, basing, building your team around Bubba, smart move. You want to build for the future. But, I mean, if you want to, it, it does, it definitely doesn't take anything away and can only help you if you bring in a veteran driver in a second car, especially if it's Kurt Busch. So yeah, I agree with you there. Gone, better. You know, look at Ganassi, you know, when he went over there, that team hadn't won a race in 2013, the one car. Yeah. And he won a race for them every year he was there. So, yeah, Kurt's an awesome choice right. to bring in. Let's go to Martinsville then. Who wins Martinsville? Yep. Uh, I'll start. Yeah. Uh, I think Alex Bowman wins Martinsville. Alex Bowman. All right. Okay. Going uh, back to back. Like Last, yeah, last year, you know, the whole Denny thing. But you can't lie, he was fucking doing well all day at Martinsville. Like, it, it wasn't like he fucking all of a sudden, you know, there was a wreck and he made his way to the front and he got a win out of it. No, he was there, like, pretty much all day. Well, well, was at front recently, I would say. I yeah, want right? to follow you up. The yin to your yang. Denny Hamlin wins the first Martinsville oh, race. Right. That's right. my pick. I think Denny Hamlin comes out. Like a beast. Gets his first one of the season in Martinsville. A track that he's won time and time again at. Home race. Damn. No, need, nothing more needs to be said. I think I'll make a, my pick now. I got the, the modern track. Martin's tr Martin Trix Jr. Mm. He's that's been that's a good pick. Good that's a, yeah, that's a I totally mean, good pick. It's the, it's the safe yeah. bet. I mean, look, last year, you know, he won that race. Really, he was up front all day. The other race didn't seem like he had the car to be up front, but um, again, new car, so we don't know how it's going to be. But I think Truex keeps his uh dominance the racetrack. Season. You know, uh, you know, Vito going with a Hendrick driver. I am also going with a Hendrick driver, but it's going to be the guy that hasn't won on an in since 2020, Chase Elliott. Going to mm. get his first win of the season, or uh, wait, yeah, first win of the season at Martinsville. Obviously, he won his way into the championship four at Martinsville in 2020. He's led laps at Martinsville. Obviously, this year he finished, I believe, second in the spring race. And then in the fall race, he was leading a bunch of laps early on. I think Chase Elliott is going to get his first oval win since 2020, first win of 2022 at Martinsville. All right. All right, another fun one. one. Another so fun we, one. Do we all agree here? I think this is the second no, time we all agree no. on something. I know I don't agree with you. Okay. I'm picking. Go ahead. I'll let y'all hear. If y'all are so confident, y'all go ahead. I'll go last. Yeah, I was gonna All say right. let's let Brandon go last. I'll go first. It. Uh, he's a great dirt racer. He won. He's won the Chili Bowl. He's won a ton of sprint car races. He's won basically everything you can win on a dirt track. Kyle Larson is gonna win oh. Bristol Dirt, and if I'm believe I'm counting correctly, that's gonna be his third win of the season. So Kyle yeah. Larson putting the pressure on him early like he did last year. I agree. I think Kyle Larson wins this race, but. There's another guy I want, I'm looking at that could maybe steal this one from him. It's Christopher Bell. I agree. Christopher, Christopher Bell. Bell. Great dirt racer. I mean, you talk about Kyle Larson winning all this chili bowl. Christopher Bell's done that too. So, he'll, he'll be there with him, I think. I mean, okay. I, I don't know what to say. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm yeah. just going to put it in. 
Yeah. yeah. So I had a feeling y'all were all gonna do that. Chris okay. took the took the wind out of my sail, but that's okay. I wrote Christian down. I'm putting Christopher Bell down as my winner for a Bristol Dirt. He he got tough luck there last year. We didn't get to see him. Same thing with Larson though. Yeah, they both had. Just it's like luck. the two of them went in there like it like confident like this was oh this is our wheelhouse dirt and then they like both just like shit the bed and started hitting everything in their sight for some reason if i remember yeah. correctly larson had to start in the back though i'm pretty sure yeah like they had to start they were always bouncing around in the back got into a lot of trouble with cars other stuff that being said ryan blaney's car got demolished and he still top vibed it so you never really know here mm -hmm. um, and newman got a top five there as well last year Ryan Newman, Ricky Stenhouse, top five. Ricky great. Stenhouse yeah. and Daniel Suarez. Daniel Suarez led, and Ricky Stenhouse almost stole the win. And Stenhouse is a dirt racer, too. Don't count him out. Yeah, Stenhouse. Stenhouse. Funny enough, Stenhouse was my pick, and then I said, no, nah, I want Christopher Bell. So. Obviously, nobody picked him last year. I don't, I'm not, not going to pick him this year, but I do are think you, Are you going for dirt? Yeah, you're still talking about dirt. Sorry, I thought you were saying yeah. start talking about Talladega already. I uh, Bristol Dirt, even though nobody picked him last year, he kind of surprised everybody with that one. I think Joey Logano is going to be there. I don't know if he's going to win, but I think he's somebody to watch. You know, I wouldn't count him out. Okay, so let's slide right into – see what I did there? Let's slide right into Talladega. Um, yeah. Let's have Brandon start us off. I'm going to start it off anyway because – we were, just, fun one. we were just talking about it. I want to pick a fun one. I'm picking Ricky Stenhouse Jr. to win Talladega. All right. <laughs> He's, he had his, those, that 2017 year that he won two races on the plate tracks. He won one at Dega. He won one at Daytona. Ever since then, he's got a little bit of a reputation, okay, on the plate tracks. But hear me out. <laughs> he runs up front. Mm -hmm. And eventually – he will win again, and I think this is his time. He's going to do it again. Yeah. Talladega is going to yeah. be the track. I, he's, he's shown better better speed, and, you know, Talladega is a little wider. He's got a little more space to work with, you know what I'm saying? So we can make Ricky Stenhouse Jr. work here. I think he's going to win at Talladega in the spring. All right. Y'all got fun ones, or are you picking lame? Let's see. That's kind of lame. Vito's oh, going Joey Logano. Logano. I think that's a good pick, though. I mean, you can't go wrong the, with Logano. He's Medica. good at the big tracks, you know? He's, he's good at the big tracks. All right. Well, I'll put that down. Vito kind of stealing my thunder. I think Joey Logano's going to win it. Chris, don't Obviously. tell me you picked Joey Logano. No, I, got, I do have another Yeah, though. No. Okay. I have uh, Ryan Blaney with one. That's Ooh. another good pick. He's got uh, two Talladega wins. Yeah. He's, he's got two Talladega right? wins and a win at Daytona last season. Showing to be a pretty good plate racer. I would say he's one of the better modern guys on the plate tracks. You know, he's kind of yeah. taking up Brad's role a little bit, I think. He's already got three wins on plate tracks already. So I think Blaney's a good pick for that one. I like it. I like it. Let's go into yeah, Dover. Dover. Know, obviously, uh, Dover. Here we go. Dover. Didn't end last year that well. What do we got? Dover. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, lead this. It's going to seem like I have a bit of a favorite here, but uh, Kyle Larson. Yeah, was I mean, a lot of that can, you, last can, you, year. can you go wrong, though, with the Kyle Larson? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Was leading well, a ton last yeah. year, and then Bowman's crew had that fantastic pit stop that ended up putting Bowman ahead for the rest of the race. Obviously, Larson's still finishing second in that Hendrick 1-2-3-4 finish. I think Larson's going to – I don't think Hendrick is going to finish 1-2-3-4 again, but I do think Larson's going to win, and obviously expect perf Hendrick – to perform well obviously they always do at dover i would say dover is sort of to hendrick what richmond is to joe gibbs racing they always perform well here i think kyle larson's gonna win see i agree with your point there however i'm picking a different driver i'm going with chase elliott uh he's won there before he's shown speed i think next year is a better year for him than last year uh like yeah like you said one two three four there last year with hendrick hendrick has won god knows how many times at dover in the past they're still strong there. They're the strongest team there right now, and I think Chase Elliott walks away with the trophy that weekend. Chris, what do you got? I agree with Adrian. Kyle Larson. He had Good that soul from last year off that pit stop. He was up front. He was fast, and I, I think he'll. Uh, I think he'll get it this time. So you know? this was redemption for Larson. You picking from the uh, Hendrick camp? You going somewhere else? Uh, well, here, I'll just type it out. All, All right, right, let's hear it. Uh, Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch. Kurt, I, spell, I don't know how you spell hmm. that. But I think, uh, yeah, I think Kurt Busch. That's an interesting it. one. Why Kurt at Dover? I don't know. I just, 
it's this weird feeling, you know what I mean? Where sometimes you just see a name, you see a track, and then you just, you know, you put it together, and then, yeah, Kurt Busch has got it there. All right. I mean, he's won there before, I think. <laughs> it was a long time ago. This yeah, one's just did. out there. Probably yeah. in the Penske years ago. Two-car days. Before that. Yeah. He's won before. That's the point. All right. Let's Kurt go Bush to... won there in 2011. Yeah, okay. So yeah. Definitely possible. All right, let's uh, let's roll into Darlington one. First race at Darlington of the season. Who wants to start us off? Um, I, I Vito's guess, going. Uh, oh yeah, Vito, you go. Denny Hamlin. Denny uh, Hamlin. That's a good pick. One there. Back to one back. there. The last Hamlin race we went good. there. Did that come through my mic? Uh, a little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Hey, everybody, take a little break here. Give it up for the shitbox on my street. Yeah. Automatic too, yeah. man. Auto tragic. That sounded awesome. Cut the muffler off your other cars too. All right, moving on. All right. Uh, you got Denny Hamlin down. I'll pick similar but not the same. I'm going Martin Truex Jr. All right. That's just his kind of track. So I'll take this one next. No it's more going to seem gratuitous said. at this point. It's going to seem gratuitous at this point, but uh, Kyle Larson. Yeah. 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 He finished second in both races, obviously <laughs> in the fall race. Obviously in the fall race in the playoffs, he said he was going to video game it. I think he's going to video game it again, but he's going to be playing on either. Kyle Larson wins, darling. All right. Chris, what you got? I think on this one, the guy who's shown a lot of speed, he won in 2020, Kevin Harvick wins All it right. at Darlington. Mm, that's a good one. Yeah. All right. Honestly, there's four solid can't go wrong picks here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at least we're all, all different right. for once. Yeah, exactly. Well, we've had, we've had a couple different. We've had a couple, so. but this one, this one's standing out to me. All right, yeah. Kansas. Adrian, go. All right, Kansas. I have <laughs> Kansas Lightning a little bit. Is it yeah, Kyle Larson? No, it is not Kyle Larson. It is a guy who I believe. No, nah, I'm wrong about this. Uh, Denny Hamlin. He obviously right. Kansas 1.5 mile. Denny's got a couple wins on those. Yeah, a couple's an understatement. Obviously, last year winning at Las Vegas. Uh, I think he's going to go to Kansas and win here. Obviously, Joe Gibbs has won Kansas last year. It was just with Kyle Busch. I think Denny Hamlin is going to get the win here at Kansas. Okay. Adrian likes Kansas. Now, this is mine. It's gonna t- it took him over a year. Took him a while. But in my world, this is where he finally breaks back through. And Kevin Harvick comes home with the trophy. At Kansas, I don't know. He ran there in the past, really good. Uh, last year was an off year for them. They were all across the board, um, but they were always up front still. And I think this year with the new car, they'll come back just like we knew SHR of years past. And Kansas will be the one. It's what got away from him and ultimately denied him of his championship in 2020. So I think he'll come back and get his redemption here. All right, I agree, Brandon. I think Kevin Harvick. Mm, you got Harvey going back to back in your little world. I have Harvey going back to back, Darlington, Kansas. Uh, you know, Bush race. So there's an extra incentive right there, right off the bat. But also, Harvey last year showed a lot of speed there. Like he in finished an second off, in an off year for SHR. Yeah, in an off year, Kevin Harvey finished second at a mile and a half at Kansas. Really good there. I think he's got a good shot at it this time. I like it, Vito. Uh, Kyle Larson, moving on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Word. All right, where are we going cool. next? Oh, it's the All-Star Race. All, All right. Star Race. The All-Star Race. Race. Uh, let's, let's have fun with this one. Everybody type yours in. Those on the stream, you're going to get to see mine. Oh, man. Everybody type it in. We'll this just hit enter at the same Race. time. We'll just hit enter at the same time. All right, All ready? Right. It's like a little uh, little slot machine. Ready? Go. Alex Bowman. Ross Chastain. Is Ross Chastain right. even in the All Star? <laughs> no, he's gonna win his way. In. You have him winning his way in through the open and then winning into the all and then winning the All Star race, like pulling a Casey Kane. Yes. I figured it's just the All Star race. It's, it's not a points paying yeah, race. Well, that's I'm why I was some... like, it's just the All Star race, and I picked Bowman, not Chastain. <laughs> I, I just was figured thinking, I'd take I some, was thinking uh, optimistic. You're swinging for the fences. Yeah, I just figured I'd get a take some creative liberties here. Ross Chastain, he's run pretty decent at Texas. Obviously, last year got collected in that wreck, so you know we didn't get to 
you know, show off his stuff last year. But he was running a little bit towards the – obviously, we didn't have much of a sample size at Texas last year. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to be a pretty good year for him with Trackhouse. And uh, I don't have him winning in the in any points-paying races. But, you know, I figured I'd give him a shot at the All-Star race. I think I think that Chastain is a pretty decent pick, though. I mean, he was the first guy last year to make the Open. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think he's got a shot. Who knows? I mean, he's very aggressive. Do you have any elaborations you want to make on your Kyle Busch pick? Or? Uh, Kyle Busch, good at mile and a half. won the All-Star before. I don't think there's too much to say there. All right. I agree with Chris. Now, the, I, let me ask a question for the group here on this one. Mm-hmm. And it's the important question here, the one that really matters about this race. Will we see the return of Sammy Hagar? I think I, – I don't know. That's a good question. Will Sammy Hagar come Will back? Sammy Hagar return for the All-Star race? What if they make him angry and you get David Lee Ross? Yeah, at the same time. We'll have angry. them on either ends of the of the track. We'll put one in turn one and one in turn four and make them stare Hell at each yeah. other. All right. And whoever performs louder over the cars wins the prize. Yep. I personally hope we could get D Snyder on board. Anyway, I all right, let's go to it. Charlotte, the Coke 600. Who's going to win it? I want to go first because I'm boring. I'm picking Kyle Larson again. He's going to dominate like last year, and we're going to go home. What do y'all got? I got another guy that can dominate this race, has dominated it before, Mark Truex Jr. Good pick, good pick. Yeah, I uh, I believe I are, Chris already knows which one I'm going with, but uh, I don't think Brandon and Vito do. Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch for the 600. He's really good at the one and a half miles. Obviously, is his you know one kind of win per season thing that he's been doing these last few years. All of those have come on mile and a half. Uh, Kurt Busch, he's pretty good at you know racing and the longer races. Uh, he's gonna win the six hundred. I just have a feeling. All right, Vito, what you got? You got a weird one. Or you got a you got a standard. Hear me out here. All right. oh, I'm, I'm listening. Oh boy. Hey, right. Buddy. All right. That's, That's a fair good pick. Like That's that. a fair pick. He's good. He's good at large tracks. I, was, I thought you were going to put down like fucking Todd Gillender or whatever, and I was going to oh, yeah, I was no. going to leave. I was just going to get up not, out, not that out there for the 600. <laughs> yeah. right. Who knows? Who knows about other races, but not for the 600. Oh, God. Let's right, scroll down a little one. bit. Let me make sure he's our board looks right. good. We've scrolled the board. Fun. Let's have Vito go first. Vito, I go guess. first for Gateway. This one's going to be a fun one. This is a new track. Gateway. All right. Uh, Denny Hamlin. Denny right. Hamlin. Safe right. pick. I think he'll win it. Yeah. Safe it's pick. Denny Safe Hamlin. Pick. He's good. Let's go backwards across the board. Chris, what you got? Mine's not too safe a pick, but mm. he's shown a lot of a uh, pro- a lot of prominence on these types of tracks. He was very good there le- at um New Hampshire last year. You know, another flat oval, one mile. I think. I think I got a uh, Brad Keselowski. Brad Keselowski. <laughs> You gotta remember too, for the Cup Series side of things, the last stuff that raced here was trucks, and before mm-hmm. trucks, Xfinity used to race here, and Kozlowski ran well here in his tenure in the Xfinity days. So exactly. not a lot of people have a lot of laps on this track, but some of those guys, you know, your Hamlins, your Kozlowskis, your Kyle Busch, guys that ran Xfinity back in like 2010, 2011, 2012, they have a shot. With that being said, I'm going with Kyle Busch here. I, I just feel like this is going to be his race where he breaks through and gets his first of the season. I didn't pick him. No, I did pick him once. Um, yeah, you had him in Richmond. Yeah, I have him in Richmond. I think this will be his second win of the year. All you right. know, Adrian, what you uh, got? For a, pick, for a pick that Chris said wasn't so safe, it's funny that two people pick it. I have Brad Keselowski winning. I think if it's not Brad Keselowski, it's going to be a Penske car. These kind of flatter ovals are definitely their bread and butter. Brad Keselowski, I think, is going to take some of that knowledge over to RFK. And uh, Brad Keselowski is going to get that win. All right. Noma. Let's go to California. Okay. Vito's already typing. Let's just let Vito go first. Yeah. You're, you seem excited Austin about Sindrick this. Austin Sindrick. Austin Sindrick. Pilot the two okay. car to a victory. Austin Sindrick. That's a big one. Rookie good season. Very good on the road courses. I agree. Anybody else get Austin Sindrick? Going mm. once? Going yeah. twice? I have a feeling you guys disagreed with me. So that's All right. Vito's, lone, lone, Vito's on his own over there. I almost said lone wolfing. I'll go Adrian. next. Adrian's going to go. Right, what you got? Uh, Vito obviously has Austin Sindrick getting his first career win for Austin Sindrick. I have somebody getting their first career win at Sonoma. 
Chase Elliott is going to get his first Sonoma win. He's been great there in the past. Uh, he's finished second there, I think, last year to Kyle Larson. What what else is new? Uh, they're adding the shoot back. Uh, I'm not sure if – I think, Ch- yeah, Chase has ran there with the shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Got to remember, he's been running so, Cubs since 2016. Right, right. So Chase Elliott's going to win that race. Obviously, he's been great there in the past, had some problems in certain years like 2019, but uh, he's going to get that first Sonoma win. I agree with you on all points. He's due. Chase Elliott's due at Sonoma. He's come so close before. It's going to happen this time around. I think Chase Elliott takes it home at Sonoma. Chris, what you got? All right, I'm going to be Mr. Boring here. I think the guy that dominated this last year is going to dominate again, Kyle Larson. All right. That's, you know. Wins this race. No need to elaborate there. Year, home state race. I think he's going to win it. Sonoma. All right. Let's go to Nashville. Second time we've ever been going here. Uh, who wants mm-hmm. to start this one? I haven't started one in a while. I'll start this one off. I think yeah, sure. now that he finally got that, he finally broke back through. He ran good here. He ran top five here in the most amazing race car I think we've ever seen in our life. Kevin Harvick is going to yeah. take home the win at Nashville. He ran good. I remember last year he was a top five car, ran about fifth all day. Uh, now that he's, you know, I think Stewart's going to, Stuart Haas is going to be a lot stronger next year. They're going to be back on their days of old. Kevin Harvick's going to be carrying the flag for them. He's finally going to get that breakthrough at Kansas and get back on top. And now he's going to start rolling back in the wins. I think his second comes in Nashville. All right. Vito, you're typing. What do you got? Brad's got it. Mm. Brad Kozlowski. All right. Okay. Brad's going to win in Nashville. Y'all got a lot of faith in Kozlowski. Y'all got a lot of faith in Roushier. Still no. I, yeah, I, I don't know if it's as much as in Roush, as much as it, as it is in Kozlowski and what he's bringing to them. I agree. I mean, I, I'm it is 130% for me, yeah. pulling for him next year. Yeah. Um, he's definitely going to be one of my favorites to root for. Yeah. But I don't I know if they're going to just fire off that strong. That's why I kind of held back on picking him, even though I probably could have more. Chris, what you got? All right. He won the Xfinity race there last year. He won the last race that did before – they hadn't run since last year. Kyle Busch, I think, wins uh, in Nashville. That's always been really strong at this track. I think he's got this one. All right. Even though he kind of echoed all my points, Kevin Harvick. Yeah. He uh, obviously ran fourth in that Gravedigger car last year. He finished fourth, I mean. Uh, Kevin Harvick, you know, I feel like these type of tracks where they're not really any other tracks like them in the Cup Series, Kevin Harvick tends to do really well at, you know, Phoenix. Obviously, you got Nashville. I think Kevin Harvick is Nashville. All right. All right. Good. That was good. Good solid America. pitch across the board. Road America. Here we go. Who Vito, wants to start got? it off? Vito's going. Yeah, he's tight. Right. What do you got? Uh, I think Austin Cindric gets two wins next season. What? Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. To clarify okay, here. Two wins, Cindric. I want to clarify something here. Originally, I had Chase winning some, uh, Sonoma. Last second... I decided that I, I think Cindric is actually going to win Sonoma. I, I also, I've thought Cindric is going to win Road America for a very long time. I'm not changing that pick. All right. Well, it, Funny. It, it's very out there to have Cindric get two wins in his rookie season. But I, I'm going to leave it that way. Well, the last I'll go next. You got faith. Adrian? I'll go next because I have Austin Cindric winning as well. Originally, I had Austin Cindric winning Sonoma and Chase Elliott winning Road America. And then I just swapped them. Unlike Vito, who obviously just had Austin Cindric winning both. Like I swapped them. Uh, I think Austin Cindric's going to win Road America. I believe he led two or three laps at Road America in 2020. Or I mean, in 2021, excuse me. In the uh, in the 33, he's going to take that over to two. Lead a bunch of laps, win that race. Obviously, he led at Coda a bunch last year. So, yeah, Austin Cindric, first career win goes to Road America. All right. I don't know what we're on here today. But uh, I also agree. I think Austin. Man, Cindric everybody went with Austin Cindric here. I agree, Austin Cindric. I think wins at Road America. Well, I hate to be the uh, that guy, but I did not pick Austin Cindric. Uh, he ran second here. He oh, ran. Oh fuck you! Uh, yeah, whatever. He <laughs> ran second here. I think. Correct me if I'm Ooh. wrong. Last year, uh, is it Kyle Busch? Yeah. Kyle no, Bush, no, no. Who ran, where did Kyle, Kyle Busch? Bush Christopher Bell ran second. Christopher Bell ran year. second? Really? Where did Kyle yeah. Busch run third? Yeah. Was he, he up there? The I remember him being up there. Kyle Busch was Kyle up there. Anyway, the no race. further ado, Kyle Busch is going to win the Road America Cup race. Whatever. <laughs> right. He ran up there. I swear. I swear he did. 
I remember Chase Elliott walked away, but Kyle Busch was up there in the top five, I'm pretty sure. He, he's a solid road course guy every year. I mean, where else but Road America? I think that would be the one for him. Yeah, that's a good one. Right. I think so. Oh, it's All right. the race I'm probably most excited for this year. Race we're going yeah. to. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, race Any I'm Woody really Productions for. fans, feel free to meet us there. Yeah. <laughs> Fan meetup at Atlanta. All two of you. City. Maybe. If we're lucky. If we're lucky. Like this in the city. All right. Who's going uh, first? Relax. Who wants to go first? Go first. I'll go first. Atlanta. He's going to get his first win of the season here. Obviously, it's not going to be his only win. Past Ryan Blaney. Going to win at Atlanta. He won there last year, obviously, in the old configuration. Kind of got that win away from Kyle Larson late. I think he's going to win Atlanta this year. Who's next? I want to go last. All right. This is just my bias showing. This is, this is an extreme amount of bias showing. I think Martin Truex is going to win at Atlanta. Chris? Uh, oh, real reason. Right. Just bias. Um, I was talking about Kurt Busch winning that first race. I think it goes the other way around here. I think Denny Hamlin wins the second race at Atlanta. Okay. See, y'all, 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 y'all were pretty tame this time. Now, yeah. I think Atlanta one happens. Then we go to Atlanta two, and everybody gets a little too comfortable, and shit hits the fan. Ross Chastain is gonna win. All right. Well, Ross right. Chastain hey. is gonna find a way to win as well. I think he's good. I mean, he's. He's shown it before. He's got the aggression. Now, I think Atlanta, with how tight it's going to be as a plate, quote-unquote, track, if he can get up front and just block for his life, I think he can hold on and get his first win. I really do. I mean, he's going to block for his life. The question is whether it's going to work for him and well, he's going to win. It's or like Joey Logano, the same the reason I picked Logano. He's going to win or die trying, and it's going to be awesome TV. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fun. But he's right. a funny watermelon right. man, so that's all yeah. right. Yeah, he's a watermelon sure. man. These next three, I have a feeling, are going to be kind of boring, not very Maybe. controversial picks. Well, Andy might be fun. Who knows? Okay, but um, New Hampshire. What do we got here? New Hampshire. Let's start. I'll start. Y'all want to start? I'll start. Ready? Watch this. Yeah. He's yeah. going to do it again. He's back, Kevin Harvick. Kevin <laughs> Harvick. Oh, Kevin Harvick. All right. He's going to win. I'm telling you. He's going to. He's going to get that one. He's just going to start knocking them off one by one. With that, I'll I'll agree. I think Kevin Harvick. Yeah. Is New Hampshire. This is what better I mean, SHR won there last year times with, with Almarola somehow. They definitely still got it at New Hampshire. Yeah, I'll go next. next. You know, it's funny that it's only a second race win, considering I believe he's going to have a pretty damn big big season. Joey Logano. He was running really well there last year. Obviously, didn't lead any laps, I don't think, but he was running really he well there. There. Uh, but uh. He ended up obviously getting the penalty, you know, during the red flag. Joey Logano. I do have him having just a huge season next year, but yeah. crazy that there's only a second win this late in the season. But yeah, Joey Logano wins New Hampshire. Joey came back from two laps down to finish in the top five. That's a very good pick. All right. I'm going to be boring. Uh, Kyle Larson. Larson. Okay. Moving on. Interesting, because Larson, we didn't see. Yeah, I did. he was a non factor here last year, if I remember. So Lar this is an interesting way to pick Kyle Larson. New Hampshire, I don't know. You know, know. Larson, obviously, Phoenix and New Hampshire are like, you know, they're the flatter of the I mean, kind of ovals on the schedule. Island. Yeah. New Hampshire so, is a track that I um, don't pay very much attention to. Oh, just this is one of those ones where I got stuck on here for a minute and then I said, fuck it, Kyle Larson. All right. I mean, that's kind of the go-to, I guess, right? It's happened to – that. there's two picks on there where I say fuck Kyle Larson. All right, Pocono's interesting. Pocono, 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 Pocono was amazing last year. Like, round of applause for Pocono, man. They put on two amazing races. Who do you want to go first? We're only getting one next year, but I think Lightning's not going to strike twice and it's probably just going to be Pocono again this year. So, uh, what y'all got? I think Pocono Logano. goes one to the base. Joey Logano? Okay. And Vito? He's won there before, hasn't he? Wait, no. Uh, he's, I don't know. I don't think he has. Actually, he's he's he won there with Gibbs. Yeah, he did. He yeah, won there. He, he won, won there with when Gibbs. He, fucking Mar he knocked Mark Martin out of the way. When he <laughs> cut Mark Martin's throat. He just yeah. was like, hey, Mark, and just dumped him. <laughs> and he's also been the victim of severe disappointment at the hands of Kevin Harvick there, coming out yes. of three, obviously, that one time. Those are all yeah. in the Gibbs uh, days, so that's 10 years ago now. Yeah. Or more. It's all Gibbs. 
Um, um, speaking of Gibbs, Denny Hamlin. Mm, it's a very safe yeah. pick, especially at pick. Pocono. I have Denny Hamlin. You're in good there. He won there in 2020. Right. I'll Chris agree. or me? Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin, okay. I mean, he's one of the best drivers on this track. He is, I think, he's one of the few guys with a lot of wins here. I think he has somewhere around five. Pocono? Okay. Denny Hamlin just kind of has this place down. So... I looked at Pocono and I said, hmm. And then I said, mm hmm. And then I went, Nye. and I went, yeah, okay, whatever, fuck it, let's do it. So they ran here, they top fived last year in one of the races here last year. They ran really good. Granted, it was kind yeah, of a fuel it. mileage race, but they still got a top five out of it. 2311 got top five here last year. Bubba Wallace got top five here last year. I'm not picking Bubba Wallace, I'm picking uh. Kurt Bush. All right. All I right, think right. 2311 ran good here last year. They hit on it last year. They're going to come back. They got Denny Hamlin at the top telling him how to do it. You know what I mean? Like y'all were saying, Denny Hamlin's pretty damn good here. And you're going to bring in Kurt Bush, and you're going to send him out here at Pocono, a track he's won at. We've watched him win here before, not too long ago, in the Stuart Haas days. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm the only one who hadn't picked him yet. We all know he's he's been he's, – his trend has been one, one win a year for the last, what, five years now. I think Kurt Bush gets his win – at Pocono. I think we all got our Kurt Bush win in, I guess, now. Yeah, I think we all have our win. All right, Indy Road Course. This should be interesting. Indy. I'll start off here. I want to go first with this one. All right, Chris, fire away. New winner Surprise here. Surprise me. Not too surprising, I would say, for a new winner, but I think he gets his first race win. Chase Briscoe mm. wins Ooh. Indy. He did all run right. good here. He ran great there last year. I mean, he had a little bit of a. See, there was a little bit of a scene at the end there. Yeah. Um, he won the in, he won the Xfinity race the year before, too. He's really good on this track. He's from Indiana. It's a home state crowd. So I think he's got a good shot at Indiana. I want to back you up. Also, Tony Stewart. That is true. I want to follow you up on the same note, but I'm not picking Briscoe. I think this is where Austin Sendrick breaks through and gets his win. I do agree with y'all that Austin Sendrick wins. Um, next season on a road course. He's just, he's too good not to. These cars are road course oriented. I just, I don't see how he does it. I mean, he's, the kid's got amazing talent. Um, he showed it last year in the few select races he did, driving a fourth part-time entry for Penske. You know, he, he, he led laps at Coda. He led laps at Road America. He's running in the front. I mean, he, he, he qualified on the pole at Road America last year, if I'm not mistaken. As just a rookie one-off, nah, you know what I mean? Pole sitter. Nah, but he did make it to the second round of pretty sure qualifying. He was up there. He pole qualified was, uh, up front. Reading. All right, all right. Anyway, I'm gonna pick. I think Cedric somebody is at the end of your course. I'm gonna pick somebody that's kind of went under the radar there last year. He was obviously front because you know he's the guy that he is. But uh, I would say last year, out of all the road course races that he ran, that he ran in, which was, you know, all of them. This was his least good one. I think Chase Elliott is going to get his third mm. win of the season. Uh, he was kind of just running around the top five all day last year. And uh, I don't really think we got a chance to see what he was made of in these last, the you know, the closing laps because of all the shenanigans that occurred with the curb. And then you had, you know, Chase Briscoe versus Denny Hamlin. So I think Chase Elliott's going to get the win at the Indy Road course. Hey, that's a good right. point. Let Vito finish first, though. Mm -hmm. I agree, Bob. Chase Elliott. I gotta tell you, Bob. I agree. It's Chase Elliott. It's a road course. It's a safe bet. Okay, so, so that's my question for the group on Andy Road Course. What do we do about that curve? I, I think it's know. gone. I think they get, get rid, rid of, of it. it. I get think they it. should add a jump. It's gonna be we're gonna put up a barrier where the curb used to be and you can either go around the barrier on the normal track or you can go inside of the barrier and hit a dirt ramp and hope and pray to God that you land straight. Oh you know what? That's I think really that's good idea. TV. That's just Foster me. That's a better idea. We build a figure eight circuit into the Indy road course layout and add a yeah. jump with the figure eight layout. Just I add agree. a loop. Just make it high speed ring from Gran Turismo. You know, let's just go all in. Mm -hmm. Right, Michigan. Just get rid Michigan. of it. Michigan, 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 Michigan. Year. What do I have in Michigan? Michigan. Oh, I have a good year. one here. What you got? So, so, 
I'm honestly surprised I didn't have him winning more, considering he's probably my favorite driver in the Cup Series. He ran well here last year, lost the finish to Ryan Blaney. William Byron gets his first win of the season at Michigan. All right. I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to steal this one because that's what I had, too. <laughs> right. Funny thing. Me, too. Really oh, Byron. wow, wow. We're going Byron across the board here. Vito, what do you have? Uh, type his name out. Hold on. A little bit of a confidence. Shocks. <laughs> uh, all right. Here we go. Eric there we go. Eric Almarola. Eric Almarola. Eric Almarola. Okay. All right. Uh, what makes you think, think that? He's going to get a win. I think he's going to get a win this season. You know, obviously, farewell season. I, I want to see him get a win. And I think Michigan is into the place I found for him to fit in. I think he's got a good shot at Michigan anyway. You know, it's Stuart Haas at Michigan. They always run pretty well there anyway. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a pretty yeah, decent pick. Boyer's won there. Harvey's won there. They've been good at Michigan, it's, sure. It's it's a two factors of I kind of – I needed to fit him in somewhere because I want him to win a race. But I still think Michigan's a good place to fit him in. Oh. All right. Well. All right. Yeah, Richmond, too. Two. Anybody want to start uh, us off? Here, I'll do it. All right. I had to make up for it from before. I didn't pick Hamilton oh, the first one. Right. I'm picking Hamilton the second one. Which I'll know. So I know Follow the trend up. seems to be, you know, let's all pick Toyotas for Richmond. I'm mm -hmm. going to be I'm gonna go against the, the grain script. a little bit. Yeah, I'm flipping the script. Joey Logano. Mm, you know, good pick, my, good uh, pick. whole thing there about him having a big season. Yeah, he's won there twice, I believe. He's, uh, I think he's gonna have it. You know, he's having a huge season. This would be his third win, I believe. Yeah, Joey Logano, Richmond. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think Martin Truex doubles down at Richmond this year. Mm, sweeps Richmond. All that's right. that's not a bad pick. Though. I mean, it's Richmond. It's Martin Truex at Richmond. Oh, yeah, I know, I know you say you're biased, obviously, but Martin Truex winning this many races is not on. Obviously, he's oh, had not some dominant of. seasons. So yeah, he's definitely you could see he's him a winning good, this many races. He's a good driver, you know. Martin Truex is good. Chris, all right, my my pick. I picked Denny Hamlin before. I'm gonna go to the opposite side of the spectrum. Kyle Busch. Mm. Okay, so yeah, we just took each other's and flipped. Yeah, exactly. So that means either one of us is gonna be. Completely right, or one of us is going to be completely wrong. Yep. Or we're both going to all miss, and it's going to be like... Christopher Bell? I don't know. Somebody random. Who's in the Cup Series? Give me a random. Daniel Suarez. Chris Burton. Daniel Suarez. Michael McDowell. All right, here we go. Yeah. Watkins Glen. Who's going to yeah. win at Watkins Glen? Who wants to start? All I'll right. Start. Put it off. I started off, last time. Oh, Chris is going. Fuck off, Vito. I'll start it off a little bit lame here. Go ahead, Chris. Maybe you get some exciting ones. He's, he's like the king of this place recently. Oh, Chase okay, Elliott, I think, okay, wins okay. Uh, I disagree. Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson. Larson. All right. I disagree Good. with both of you. I think I, I might agree with, with Adrian. You. Let's see what happens. Vito talked about it he's such a great driver he's been great here in the past he's won here in 2017 he's got a ton of runner-up finishes last year finishing third martin truex jr is gonna win it. i'm with right. adrian here fully 110 percent martin truex at Watkins Glen. i know he should have probably he should have more wins here than he does but that being said i mean can you blame him like the pick is perfect he's when it comes to here, you know, we watched Chase Elliott win here, his first win. He came back and won again the very next year. You know who was pushing him across the line practically and ran right on his ass for all of those races? Martin Truex Martin Jr. Martin Truex Jr. Who won yep. here in 2017? Martin Truex Jr. That's up to 2019. Then we got 2020, 2021. I mean, he, we didn't run there in 2020. We come here in 2021. He He's third. right up in there. That's what I'm saying. He hasn't finished outside right. of third since 20, like 16 or 17. Okay, like Mark Truex Jr.'s do it, Watkins Glen again. I think he takes home the win. Go home race for the regular season at Daytona. This should get interesting. This I have a should feeling get fun. I feel like, like fun. none of us are going to pick something normal just for the hell of it. I'm Who, wants pick to something... start? Who wants to start? Yeah, Let's just go across the board. Let's just start with Adrian and go across. Okay, so. Yeah, sure. I've been on a huge kick with this guy when it comes to super speedways. Such bad luck. He'll be running great, 
and then something will happen. It happened in the 500 last year, leading Vega. It's happened in the past. I think Alex Bowman mm, is going to win his first Alex race Bowman of at Daytona. At Daytona. All right, I'll follow you up. I think this guy has been in the Cup for a little bit now. Started to fall off. Bounced back a lot last year. Turned a lot of heads. Definitely caught my attention. I think he wins his way into the playoffs. Daniel Suarez somehow right. finds a way to win Daytona. Now, he re he had the run. He was right up in there with Harvick on that last charge in, the, in, the, in this exact race a year ago until he got hooked by Kurt. And then, you know, all hell broke loose Daytona style. He runs up front before. We've seen him run in the front of the plate races. If he gets a little lucky, which you know you're going to have at Daytona, it's just the way it goes. It's a brand new car. It's a brand new year. Daniel Suarez gets his first career win at Daytona. You know, both track house cars getting a win with next season will be huge for that team, obviously. Oh, yeah, no, it would well. be huge. That'd be, that would be awesome. All right. I mean, I'll, at least one of them, hopefully, we can see them win. Yeah. I Sooner hope. rather I than later. I think they have more than enough potential to bring home a checkered flag. What you got, Chris? My Surprise guy. me. John, a lot of a lot of promise speedways almost won the 500 a couple of years ago eric amarola in his final season wins it at daytona mm, that's a good pick that's, that's a really like. good pick i like that pick i didn't even think about that yeah and he won there before too he's won it uh he's won in 2014 he's won that yeah, he's won the summer yeah he's won the summer race Vito. all right so please out. please pull some bullshit i want i want to i want to have a good yeah. laugh here this is a pick of desperation <laughs> right uh this is a desperation pick Eric Jones. Eric Jones. I like that. I totally, I really, I literally, totally forgot about Eric Jones for next year, I, and I feel bad really, because I was hyping them up to y'all not too long ago. Like, man, they're going to do good. I think they're going to do see. decent. I think even if GMS forty three do well, both I cars think look good. That even if he doesn't win next year, he's going to be right on the cut, pointing his way in anyway. I think Eric Jones. It's going to be pretty solid next year. Hey, and you it's know what, Vito? Not even a bad pick. Eric Jones' first career win was this race. Mm hmm. It was the Daytona Summer Race. 2018. 18. Was, right? It was 18. 2018. 2018. Yeah. All right. Playoffs. All right. Playoff time. Let's go to the Southern We're 500. We're talking about playoffs. Yes, we are. Playoffs. Southern 500. Who opens up the playoffs with the bank? I, have a, I think we should snake order this. So, like, I'll go Chris, Brandon, Chris, Vito, then Vito go Brand, or Chris, Brandon, me, and we'll just yeah, do sure, that for the playoffs. We'll just sneak it back and forth? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. That sounds good. All right. So, Southern 500, he won the Mother's Day race in 2021, became the first stage winner to win a race at Darlington, and then obviously that changed with Denny Hamlin in, in the, uh, the fall race. Martin Truex Jr. going to bring himself into the round of 12 right away. Okay. All right, I'm backing it up. Defending champ, Kyle Larson, he's due here. The fact that he hasn't won here yet baffles me. He was so close both times last year. When you think of Darling Dead, you think about riding the top. And who the hell is known for that more than anybody else? It's Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson. He needs to win here before, you know, and I think he should do it in the Southern 500, and I think he will. Uh, just to add even more to his ever-increasing, rapid-growing uh trophy case he's got you know all of his awards and achievements in the last year or so so southern 500 goes to kyle larson chris what you got i agree kyle larson for the southern 500 i mean it's he just... was so good here last year i i can't believe he hasn't won here yet this this gotta be the year he gets it all right so uh i think it's gonna be kurt bush's brother kyle bush all right <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to introduce it. I like that bait. Yeah, that's good. All right, you get to go again for Kansas. Kansas? Hey, All right. Kansas. Vito? All right. Kansas, yeah. too. Uh, I mean, it's just a, it's a pretty safe bet. Not That's not safe, but that horrible bet, Kevin Harvick. All right. All right. Harvick. Harvick. Yeah, we talked about him earlier because uh, me and Brandon had winning the first Kansas race. Uh, I think... I think winning this race would be the other Kyle, Kyle Bush. Good pick, good pick. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a little off the, uh, a little off the beaten path here. I'm gonna be a little different. 
He's shown to do it a million times last year, it felt like. He did it years prior. Oh. It's one on mile and a half. I think he'll do it again. There's going to be one race this year where he finds a way to just pull one out of his ass and get it done. I think Alex Bowman, I know I picked him for the All-Star race, but that's the All-Star race. I think he's legitimately going to take home a win at Kansas this year in the uh, in the playoffs. I think, I think it's just a fair pick to him. I think Hendrick is too strong right now for him not to get a win. Uh, he definitely shows that he has the ability to win. He did it four times last year. That was a lot. Granted, they were a little bit shaky, but a win's a win. And, uh, you know, I think back to his auto club dominance in 2020 when he took home the win. I think back to 2019, the last race we ever had at Chicagoland where he got it done on the mile and a half. I think Alec Bowman's a fair pick here. All right. All right. So I didn't pick him for the first Kansas race. And if I had, it would have made it a three race win streak, which he did twice last year. Guy Larson. Oh, win Kansas again. Yay. All right. I feel like Kyle Larson will be listed in every single race through the playoffs by at least one of us. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Maybe, right. I don't know. Oh, wait, I get to Adrian, go Adrian, you're up again. Uh, yeah. Bristol Night Race. Uh, <laughs> you won it last year. Uh -oh. You won that race this year, <laughs> Kyle Larson. <laughs> Kyle uh, Larson. He said, himself, he said himself that Bristol is his best track, so I, I'm going to – you know, he's he going to put his money favorite. where his mouth is. Oh, yeah, he said it's his favorite. He said Homestead is the best track. But, uh, yeah, Kyle Larson, he won last year's night race. He's, in my opinion, going to win the dirt race. And uh, he's going to sweep Bristol. Going to win the night race again. All right. Brandon, who you got? Bristol. Robbery. Oh. Flat out blatant robbery. So it's time for redemption. <laughs> Kevin Harvick is getting his freaking win that he deserved last year because that boy got screwed. Yeah. That boy got screwed hard. <laughs> and he's pissed. And he's angry. And he's on a he's on a tirade. He's gonna get his fourth win of the season in my world next year at Bristol. I agree hundred percent. This is the one that got away there, from Yeah, last that's year. the one that got away from last By year. Means, I agree. Should have won this race. Kevin Harvick at Bristol. Vito. Yeah. Vito. Go. Are you okay? Go. Michael I'm McDowell. Awesome. Michael McDowell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Austin, I don't know. At least Dude, capitalize the D. Uh, yeah. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I got uh, you. I feel worry. it in my tenderloins. <laughs> in your tender Michael <laughs> My awesome. loins. Michael McDowell. Are you sure Bristol. you're not two weeks early? Uh, are you positive? <laughs> positive here. Right, would you like you to know, elaborate on the topic any further, or are we just going to leave it at this? No, sir. If Matt De Benedetto <laughs> in the 95 can finish second at Bristol. Shit, he, ran, he ran sixth in the 83 car for BK Racing. <laughs> yeah. Or stranger things have happened, I suppose. Michael McDowell, that's all right. Hey, you know what? Who knows, man? New car, new year. Yeah, support it. All right, here goes Vito. Back it Texas. up. Vito. Texas. What you got at Texas? Kyle Larson. Okay, I was going to say, if you picked, like, some other, you know, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> Chris, go ahead. All right. <laughs> got an interesting one, maybe. Uh, my world, he hadn't won in a little bit. It's been a it's been a while. I think Joey Logano wins it at Texas. That's a good pick. Solid pick. Yeah, he's good on the mile and a half. I think he's won at Texas before. He's a Great driver. I think can get it done in Texas. All right. I'll back it up. I'm going to pick a little different again. Uh, exact same basis as before. Uh, I think William Byron takes home the win here at Texas. I think he gets a uh, – he breaks out. He got his – he got a win last year. Uh, he got a – he got a – he got a – he got one win. Then he got another win last year. He's had two one-win seasons. I think this year he gets two. Um I think Texas is a track that he's run well at in the past. I think Hendrick's 1.5 program is top of the game right now. Um, I know we're going to a new car. Things might change, but going off what we have to go off of, I think it's totally fair to pick William Byron uh, for Texas here. I don't know. I just seemed right. I think he'll get. A, I think he'll get a win here. All right. All right. Adrian. So he ran decent here last year. Obviously. Uh, three wins in the Gen 6 era at this track for this driver. I think Kyle Busch going to advance his way into the round of eight with Texas. 
Oh, All right. Make it playoff predictions. Look at this guy, Mr. Fancy Ooh, Pants. Look at this guy. Well, Texas is Texas. Yeehaw, boy, Let's howdy. Go Let's go to Talladega. Talladega. Yeah, baby. All Here right. Here we go. Adrian, you're up first. Give us I said Talladega. Earlier, what do you have for Talladega? I said earlier that when I picked him, I said it wasn't going to be his only win of the season, and I meant it. Ryan Blaney. Ryan Obviously, Blaney. nothing needs to be said about him at Super Speedways. Ryan Blaney's going to Yeah. I think I have to maybe explain a little bit. Oh, but I also – all the explanation – the only explanation I need to say is Talladega. It's Talladega. It's Talladega. Right. It's Talladega. This should be good. We, we hyped them up. You've been hyping them up. You had a lot of faith in them. I have a soft spot for this driver. I guess I'm biased. But I think he'll get his second career win. But his first in a long time. Chris Busher is going to win Talladega. All I just right. got a feeling. I agree. Our, I think you're he can do it. Up, I mean, we're hyping up RFK with you know the Roush merger with Kozlowski. They look amazing. On you know they they've proven that they've got the plate track package. They've won here before. The 17 car won here not too long, not so many years ago with Stenhouse. They still got it on the plate tracks with Kozlowski now in his ear, a plate track master, especially at Talladega, to kind of help him out as they're going to work together as a team, boost this team up. They're going to get faster. They're going to be better. I mean, think about it. He's He's got his teammate out there. He's got Brad freaking Kozlowski to help him out. I mean, Chris Buescher is due. He can do it. He can get it done at Talladega. All right. Well, Brandon, if I had a nickel every time, one of us picked Chris Bush to win Talladega. I would have two nickels, but it's so weird it happened twice. I cannot believe <laughs> you picked them too. I, I got a feeling, man. It's just going to happen. See, that's what I'm saying. It's just going to happen. It's just going to magically I, I come to fruition. Good shot. That's our boy. Chris Bush is going to yeah. win. Uh, Vito? Vito? Oh. I would say yeah. surprise me, but you've already done that enough. So just do your thing. <laughs> Right, right down, yeah. right down. If you put down like Joey Logano, I'll be bored. But you know, you can do whatever you want. Yes. The Talatiki region of Alabama, it will start <laughs> raining fire. There will be explosions, and Ryan Blaney will finish backwards. All right. <laughs> so, Luck his way so, into it. Talladega, Talladega is relatively tame across the board. We managed to only pick two drivers. Yeah, I know. Somehow. But, Chris Busher, I think, kind of makes up Chris for it. Chris Busher like, makes up for it. Chris Busher's going to win. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's I go to the Rumble. Vito, hook it up. What have you got? My, have my other spreadsheet open on another tab, right? Oh, I don't know what happened. I might have had a stroke while writing this because what is submitted here for Charlotte is someone named Kevui. However, <laughs> I don't think I submitted Kevui. So I'm just going to go on what I guess this is. And I guess I submitted <laughs> Kevin Harvick. All right. I don't know who Kevui is. He had a little bit of a run in, run in here in the past. He had a bit of a Kafefe moment. I don't think yeah. he will drive into a wall. Personally. <laughs> I don't think so he either. He will be aware of the wall now. now. Now that he's driven into it, he knows it's there. <laughs> he's going to oh, go yeah. back, not drive into it, and win. All right, let me tell you. Tell oh you. boy, Chris is getting on his soapbox. There's a lot of hype around this guy with the uh, next gen car, but I haven't seen anybody talk about him yet. He's got a lot of talent. He was very good here last year, and this is like the Talladega road course. Anything can happen. I think Tyler Reddick wins at the Roval. Pretty bold, pretty bold. He's been good. He was really good last year. He was up in the mix. I think he's got a shot this time. I really do. You know, I have Kyle Larson put down, and I'm boring. And I don't want to be boring. I'm taking Tyler Reddick off of your thing. I wanted Tyler Reddick on my list. I didn't get him on my list, and I realized that halfway through doing this earlier. And I was like, damn, I wanted to pick Tyler Reddick. Guy's a beast on the road courses we've seen. And I, I agree wholeheartedly. He was up in the mix. Now we got more equal playing field. And, yeah, anything can happen at the Roval. I, I agree, Chris, wholeheartedly. I'm going with you. We're going right. Busher. We're going Reddick. We're just going to have fun now. Yeah. Right. I've got a bit of a bold pick. Not as bold as that, but a bit of a bold pick. 
Obviously, it's going to be hard for him to, you know, kind of pull ahead of thing one and two. But uh, he almost did it last year to save his playoffs. I think William Byron is going to win the Roval. He obviously was great there last year. Tyler Reddick almost saved his playoffs doing it. William Byron is going to win at the Roval. All right. Cool, cool, cool. That wraps up the round of 12. We got four races to go. It is the round of eight. We're going to Las Vegas. Adrian, you're starting us off. What you got? All right, advancing to the championship four with a win. Joey Logano Ooh. is going to win in Vegas. I know some of you guys have spring race. I have him win fall race in the champion, or in the round of eight. Yep, Joey Logano wins Las Vegas. All right. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. I'm going to uh, back it up with a pick of my own. Uh, I think he's going to also – I don't know if he'll be winning. I don't. I haven't thought about playoffs yet, but I think he's going to run good here. I think Kyle Busch is going to win Las Vegas. I, he's. he's uh, I don't know where I picked him on the other tracks this season, but I don't know if I got him down on 1.5 or not. He's got this track down. I mean, hometown. It's good to see him win. I think Kyle Busch will win uh, Las Vegas. What y'all got, Chris? Brandon, got Brandon we got to stop this, man. Oh you my God, dude! Won. Stop copying. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you get copying. This dude's reading my notes. <laughs> No, I've, I've had Kyle Busch. It's because you sit next time. to me at the oh, table. Boy. That's what's you going do, on you here. You do for another championship. See, look, 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 look. You see this? Yep. You see this? Chris is sitting next to me at the table. He is reading my notes. <laughs> and it's pissing me off. I'm starting to get a little annoyed. Anyway, back to the sheet. <laughs> All right. So, uh, he walks himself into the championship board with this. Larson, I'm boring. Let's yeah, go. Right. let's go. All right, well, don't be boring. Let's go to Miami. What you got at Miami? Uh, he locks himself into the champion four with this. Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin, good pick. He's oh, won there in the that? past. I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, the year Brad Keselowski won the title. I think Denny Hamlin won at Homestead. Uh, no, it's 2013. That was in Johnson. Oh, yeah, Johnson. Yeah, my bad. The year after. Yeah. A little known fact about me. I fucking hate Homestead. I what? Homestead, Miami. Why? Why? I do. I am not a fan of Homestead, Miami. I don't like watching races there. I don't like anything about it. So, uh, fuck this track, Denny Hamlin. Wow. Cool. All right. All right. Somebody's grumpy. Uh, make my Pick pick. Yourself. A little lame, but he is the best guy on this track. He has been for a long time. Kyle Larson. I think he wins it at Homestead. I can't believe he's never won it before. But I think this is a big shot at it. Kyle Larson wins Homestead. I agree with you, Chris. Are you but, serious? But I agree with you on the fact that I can't believe he's never won here. But I think he's going to have to okay. wait on this one. He's going to get Darlington, but I think he's going to have to wait on Homestead one more year. Because I agree with Vito. I think Denny Hamlin's going to walk away with the win here uh, and punch his ticket in. I, I think Denny Hamlin's just been too strong the last couple of years uh, to let this one slip. I think this is going to be where he breaks through and gets a win. and. Pushes on into the uh, into the little championship. Adrian, what you got? Uh, if Brandon's not going to agree with Chris, then I guess I have to. Kyle Larson's going to win Homestead, oh my Miami. God, he uh, oh, God. he finished third there, I think, in the in the the third race of the year last year. Obviously, uh, you know William Byron winning in that race. Championship contenders. Yeah, Tyler Reddick past. finishing second. So yeah, Kyle Larson. What more can you say about him at Homestead? Obviously, he made running the top at Homestead work a little bit last year, you know. So, I think, yeah, Kyle uh, Larson. Honorable mention here. I know we picked him at the Roval, but I do think Tyler Reddick has a really, really good chance here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was, I was the he runs Reddick. really good here. He ran really good here last year, making that charge in the end. I, I don't know. Even playing field, new year, new cars. We could see him good up in there. I didn't pick him, but I wanted to throw his name up there just in the moment here because I really do think he'll have a really good shot at it. Yeah. All right, just two races to go. All right, let's wrap up. Let's wrap up the round eight. Who's winning Martinsville, too? You know, with the spring race, you guys pointed out the irony of always that occurred with him and Alex Bowman. I think it's going to happen at the fall race, the same race that happened the year before. Denny Hamlin. Going to advance himself back into the championship four with a win. Okay. it's a good pick. I have Brandon. to go with my uh, my other peers here, the earlier picks. 
like Chris says, it's Martinsville for a reason. I think Martin Truex Jr. takes home the win at Martinsville. Uh, he just he runs too damn good here the last couple of years. Too good to not get one every year, I feel like. So I'm going with Martin Truex Jr. in the fall. Chris, fire away. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm doubling up. He won the earlier race at Martinsville. I think he sweeps it. Martin Truex Jr. Too good at this place. I think he's got it. Uh, he sweeps Martinsville. And the yeah. Sunbox is going the championship for. Very good. Uh, a bit of a consensus here, I guess. Yeah. Wait. yeah it's Martin's over Adrian, a reason. Adrian sucks. Wow. Now, I, I, guess this one, I guess this one can kind of double up as our championship pick, too. Because oh. you know, usually whoever wins this race is the champion. In the playoff format, it's always been this way. But No, it's been every year in the championship format that we have now, it's been the winner of the final race is the champion. So, yeah, Vito, start us off. All right. Your champion, your 2022 champion, I think, sweet Martinsville, you're going to sweep Phoenix, Drake Jr. All right. I think coming off his slump, having a great bounce back, the king of the desert, Kevin Harvick. It's here. Wow. That's bold. At Phoenix. That's real bold. Yeah. Well, I am going to keep it bold. It's going to happen eventually. Denny Hamlin. Denny I see Hamlin. Denny Hamlin taking it. Right. So we all have different championship forms. I don't know if mine's Chris. He was in a bit of a slump last year, but this season I have him winning five races. Joey Logano, Cup Series champion, his second time. Damn, you put out a lot there. But I understand. We, we, go, we got the gist. Yeah, Joey yeah, Logano's going to win I think your point, your point has been proven. Joey Logano's second title. Okay, hey, you know what? We wrapped up all different. That's good. Yeah. Um, you know what's funny, too? We all wrapped up different, and nobody picked Kyle Larson. Yeah, that's yeah. But uh, no one's won this style more than once other than Kyle Bush. Kyle Larson has the best shot at doing it since him, but I don't think he will do it. Well, that's a pretty mighty fine list. We yeah, have some pretty different looking championship fours. Yeah, yeah, every week on the spin tunnel, we uh, you can be... tell who mine is by looking at my last. Well, I mean, you know, it's just it's it's a nice little list. So we'll just do a little quick scroll up here. Y'all can take a look, take a look, take a look, take a look. Make your own picks at home if you would so please. All right, play the game with us. I want to talk about one thing because I left someone off my list. I left a couple people off my list, but there's one that I'm really uh. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna take it back to the studio. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have one Let's uh, talk about it. Yeah. Back to I the studio. Talk about. talk about it. I never. I don't have Alex Bowman winning a race this season. I'm not hmm. sure what it is. I think it might be just last year. Most of those wins he got, they just weren't on that speed. Most of my wins are just based off of who I think will be the best on that track. Alex Bowman was never really the best on any of his. Wins last year uh he's a great driver can win i just don't think it'll happen i disagree well, i think he'll at least get next, one next week we'll be doing our playoffs so we'll see whether chris has him in the playoffs or not obviously but, uh, <laughs> you're gonna win <laughs> roval don't at me shut the fuck up <laughs> is all even running cup next year wait who is all even running cup Almondinger, uh, he's going to be running a couple cup races, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd just like to talk about a couple of drivers that I don't have winning a race, but who I think can win a race. And I think I'll probably be wrong about some of these, so I think one of these guys at least will win a race. Uh, Eric Amarola, Cole Custer, Chase Briscoe. Um, obviously, those are the Stuart Haas guys. Austin Dillon and Tom Reddick. I think all of those guys are going to – you know, maybe contend for a win. Maybe, and then Daniel Suarez and Rush Test. I think those are the guys that are, even though I don't have them winning anything, you know, Rush Test ain't winning the All Star race. Uh, I think those are the guys that, even though I don't have them, could end up winning something. All right. Realistically. I'm with you there. I mean, I'm, I'm sticking with my picks. Uh, all I really wanted to get in there was Tyler Reddick, which, I mean, I have him on the Roval, but, I mean, I could see him winning at Oval anywhere. Uh, of the like he's definitely got the talent he's improving uh other cars that you know like I've, I've said this before and i'll say it again i think with the next gen car we're gonna see a lot of those 12th 13th down to even you know 17th 18th 19th 20th those guys in points that run in that upper 
to middle midfield are going to have a better shot. And I'm not saying they're going to go out there and just start winning races because, you know, you got to still go out there and beat Hendrick Motorsports. You got to go out there and beat Joe Gibbs. You got to go out there and beat Stuart Haas if they're back this year. You know, like you got a lot of strong cars to beat still, but I'm not going to count them out. I think we will definitely be able to see a lot more of those upper midfield guys go up there and run in the top five, go up there, run in the top 10, get stage points, maybe even steal a couple stage wins. And if they're lucky enough, we might see one or two of them go home with a race win. And I really want to see it. So um, that's kind of my sentiment for my prediction for the season when it comes to just winning. Uh, the playoffs should be interesting. I think hopefully I'm hoping this year we keep the amount of winners down compared to last year. So we're not locking up as many spots. That way we can see a bigger points battle down at the, uh, the bottom of the field. Granted, if it's just a blowout and it's like the bottom three are still contended for either way, you know, we've seen that happen in years past either way. Uh, however it goes down, I, I'm still sticking to my guns here. I think we're going to see that midfield rise up. Uh, I don't think the top of the field is going to fall back. I think just, you know, your petty GMS, new merger, they're going to maybe move up a little bit. Um, other teams like RFK, you got you got Brad Kislowski coming in. He's going to help bump it up. Um, Chris Busch is going to run better. JTG, going back down to one car. They're going to be able to just focus on one. That should help them out. You know, like just stuff like that. I think we're going to see a lot of that, and I think it's going to be – uh, it's going to give way to a really exciting season for the next gen car to come out on strong. That that's kind of my sentiment. That's what I got going for. That's what I'm hoping happens. Uh, anyway, that's kind of all I got for that. Anybody else? I don't know. Um, yeah. Again, this is going to be a different season. I think there's going to be a lot of just different things that are happening. Different winners. A lot of other people being they haven't been before. It'll be a lot of fun. Coming into it. But, um... All right, so, um... I don't know, it sounds like we're running a little dry here. This is, I mean, we're going to be going over an hour and a half uh, on our predictions yeah. here. But uh, thanks to anybody that tuned in. Uh, definitely happy to have you here. Uh, before we wrap things up, I'd like to uh, take the soapbox here and just give a little more insight on uh, what we plan on doing going forward this year with the, uh, the Spin Tunnel show. Um, I know I really like doing this. Everybody else here really likes doing this. We like doing this. It's very fun. Uh, you're going to see a lot more of us once a week. Uh, we talked about this way back when on our last episode, but I'm going to reiterate it now that it's 2022 and we're going into this year and this season. Uh, we're going to be able to stream a lot more, I think, get almost, if not all of the races in uh, on the post-race show, either the night of the race that evening or the day after or the day after or the day after. And I mean, like if it's getting to Wednesday and you're just desperate and you don't see us yet, we're not coming. So um, <laughs> see you next week. We'll give you a rundown real quick uh, to wrap it all up, you know, and get back on track. Uh, we'll keep well, up with the winner luck, board. Uh, we'll have the playoff it's board. Luck, Eric, you stop. Yeah, pretty much. Um, or just watch the race for yourself and make your own mind up. It's just, you know, have fun with it. It's stupid. Do whatever you want to do. Um, Listen to us and only us. But, yeah, I mean, just to keep just a, just a, uh, out on Wednesdays. Wrap it all up here. Uh, yeah, I mean, be sure to uh, check us out. Keep up with it. We'll be here. Uh, we'll try to be here every week. Maybe and bring you some more content outside of just the uh, standard show. Try to get a little more in depth. Get a little better presentation for y'all. Not be so boring. Uh, on top of that, yeah, really just get ready for the clash. You'll see us next week. We should be back next week to do some more uh, predictions. I think we're going to try to do the playoffs. Have a little fun with that. Uh, just try to kill a little time here. Try a little kill, you know, kill a little time here before we get going again uh, at the clash. Uh, that being said, I think when the clash rolls around, we're doing everything we can to try to bring a live show during the clash to y'all. Uh, if anybody wants to watch that along with us, and we're going to give our live commentary and reactions to the chaos that ensues and unfolds in the Coliseum. Uh, after that, Daytona, we're going to be able to do a race rundown. After the 500, uh, from there on, it'll just be race rundowns, post race, uh, post race shows uh, throughout the season. And uh, anything else we throw in there, things should probably ramp up over the time, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Other than that, I mean, anybody else got anything they want to close out with? Moist. Uh, Moist. Uh, Word. You, Adrian. Okay. Not sure. Fuck you, Adrian. That's a little hostile. Cody Ware winning the title. Cody Ware winning the title. Wow. He's running full time. He's eligible. Yes, he is. 
All right. Well, uh, hey, that wraps up tonight's show. It's nice and late. That's okay. If you caught us live, thanks for coming. We appreciate all of you coming to check it out. Uh, I think we got about five viewers at our peak, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this should be up later for all you guys who want to watch the show later on YouTube. Uh, yeah, pretty much it. Yeah, we'll see you all uh, next week. That wraps up tonight's uh, early predictions. If you want to make your own predictions and keep up with us at home, feel free. And uh, we'll see you all next week. Uh, have a good night, y'all. See you guys.